just had a cough that nearly removed my lung but here we are we are together and i would not be anywhere else than here with you good morning you're watching why in the morning should be your favorite show by now because we are the littiest people around ask anybody at white five on facebook at white two five four channel order to hashtag is white in the morning my name still remains to be valentine or you can find me at color me val as in val with colors color me val and it's entrepreneur tuesday honestly it should be a wednesday because wednesday is queen's wednesday and this particular queen is gonna blow your mind away so so think business and then think queen can you do that all right so hi hey you are easily one of my favorite guests what an so amazing far. intro i feel like a queen already <laughs> well you are an amazing person yeah. what's your good name uh, my name is lucy minor mm -hmm. yes founder for favi productions mm -hmm. favier favier mm -hmm. means favor in french i love to say that so that you can remember favier yes uh -huh. favier so people say favier i allow you to say it as you will uh, just think french favier. Uh -huh. favier yes where did you get the name inspired i think it was on a particular day, I was walking around in Voy doing internship, and then I just kept feeling I'm experiencing so much favor. Mm -hmm. It can wow. only be God. Uh -huh. Then I started coining, if I ever have a business, wow. I will call it something related to favor. Mm -hmm. So then I coined Favier, and that was back then. I didn't imagine I would have a business. That was the, the what? There's a lot of faith. <laughs> As in you had the business name first before you had yeah, the business. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm hoping this faith is going to tap into or seep into me take by it, osmosis. Take it, take yes. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna love this interview. Isn't it? Me, I mean, I'm just going to just enjoy myself. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. What does your company do? Favier deals with corporate and humanitarian films. Mm -hmm. So we are passionate about getting pictures that actually will you will see and want to change what you do and impact a better way mm -hmm. so pictures that drive the society that mm -hmm. drive change all right yes so a couple of things that i would imagine mm -hmm. would be okay i'm, I'm a thespian so I'm, I'm, I, I'm a bit knowledgeable on the theater of the damned or all these things and okay. they're always uh, quite passionate with what they're trying to say okay so if the cause maybe was fgm that mm -hmm. is female genital mutilation mm -hmm. and i want to put a message across like mm -hmm. create awareness so that we can stop it as soon as possible so, so when the stopping it uh -huh. and then i realized lately there was an actual fgm ambassador drive mm -hmm. and it was trying to understand some of those communities actually think i am not a woman if i have not been mm -hmm. i haven't gone through the cart mm -hmm. so then trying to educate that you actually can be a woman through other achievements and accolades and you can come and train you on the womanhood process mm -hmm. so you don't have to go through the cart that's mm -hmm. not so because again photos should be able to understand why are you thinking that's your way of life instead mm -hmm. of thinking to kutwe to cannot collect an Nairobi. So why do you want to stay there? Let's understand your mindset That's so and magical. then work with uh -huh. you based on what you think. We're not trying to change your mindset. We're just trying <sighs> to now work with you as you are, but then make your life better. I had a set of guests and um it was a very, very, very different topic, and they were mm -hmm. talking about health. Yeah. So these particular people would go to the, let's say, the, the more remote areas mm -hmm. of the country, Kina, yeah. Eastern, Sujiwapi, and they went with solutions mm -hmm. to problems that they assumed they had. Yeah. And then they didn't get very far. So they brought in someone else. They said, okay, please go to the ground. And the ground is different. Uh, understand. Yeah, uh -huh. go and find out what's going on. Yeah. So I'm like, no, they have their own ways of solving yeah. these problems. Maybe enhance that maybe facilitate exactly that. enhance it as they think yeah it. exactly it's so. not for hi yeah. i'm educated i know everything i'm saying and i'm going to bring you parts that are going to do this mm. so understand why do you actually like doing this this way how can we make that just a bit more comfortable for you so then trying to tell films that will let people understand mm -hmm. their way of thinking mm -hmm. then how can we work with them as they are so <sighs> yeah that's what we do that is so that. magical how did you that wow that's a calling. I don't know how you made it a business, but that is a calling and that is beautiful. So how many films do you think you've made over the years? Uh, opened shop in 2014, mm -hmm. so that's the five years now of turning six this year. Mm -hmm. Films, we try to every month do something related to an agenda. So mm -hmm. every month trying to do something. So some of them we just kind of have as archives of this day I want to drive this agenda and I'll hope fully find someone who is passionate about this particular SDG. Mm -hmm. So six years worth of films, wow. let me tell you that. Six years worth Do you of have a pictures. Favorite? Uh -huh. favorite um I think anytime we're working with the outside communities mm -hmm. and maniatas, I think I just love oh. being able to think 
why are you here in this Vanyata? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to put all that cow dung and make it together? And then mm -hmm. why do you love this way of living? So, yes, but every other day favorite is corporate headshots. So just being able to know, okay, you look like a young person. How do I make you look and have this image and communicate your values mm -hmm. in a portrait? So then now that's now the modern day photography. Mm -hmm. Trying to then bring all your thoughts and look focused in a picture so yeah i've always wondered how oh, when you pick a picture at like the place dent you know mm -hmm. this and and the very high profile people <laughs> like why I'm do saying. they only have one pose like we made julisa like all this money they have so, sometimes people say there is this acceptable picture uh -huh. that this is what needs to be framed in everybody's office mm -hmm. so sometimes then working with that and saying okay can i bring in just one more creative eye on my end to just see how to make you still look conversational and approachable than too stern mm. so just getting a balance to try and communicate what who are you as a person and your character mm. as much as i'm trying to make you look serious mm -hmm. can i just have a bit of your demeanor come out in the picture so mm -hmm. yes that's, that's usually maybe fun you can look at oh so, what are we looking at so here? that's a lot of the humanitarian and documentaries and capturing and the industrious women i love just looking at wow. the hands of that industrious woman who you don't need to know what she's doing you just look at her hands Carlos. and you just see that she's working effortless every day but anyway again the women agenda has been driven too much and i think there are industrious men out there so we need to start <laughs> looking for them this year you know <laughs> usually on mondays we have a man crush monday and uh -huh. the boys have recently come to me and told me no Val, you guys have been empowered so good congratulations uh -huh. but i think we need to go back and teach them how to handle empowered women now and i agree and i agree oh this so. is wonderful so I we see. have studio as well so uh -huh. that's probably what you're looking at right now studio as well uh -huh. where we all meet as a team and creative hub so yeah can i be your muse if you're going to take pictures of course, like this yay. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> so nice i'd love to have you we'd love to have you oh and where do you get your clientele from is it something that you broadcast on social media like so we do have social media but again i've realized what of mouth works better and referrals mm -hmm. so this person is happy they will bring someone else so that has been more l solid Though advertising has go been going on, of course you have to post on Facebook and mm. you have to have the website on everywhere. So, yeah. There was a joke uh -huh. the other day about Instagram models. Uh -huh. If Instagram was to decide what uh -huh. uh, people would, people's careers would just uh -huh. die, 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 die. But you know, although social media is a source of a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, it feels really good when you have a picture that this you know this good this yeah. quality and then yeah. you can post it up it's not even about how many likes you have it's, yeah. it's more like this looks like capturing a moment and literally need to come out of mm -hmm. of of likes and know that okay it's not about me i know well maybe that should be a goal for more people in 2020 <laughs> try to figure out how that you, you're not going to be breathing i have one more like next was i have another one. Oh, oh, i'm not getting them fast enough oh. but maybe maybe didn't get the hair right maybe i didn't get this right and then it so. now trickles or translates Translate sometimes into maybe I'm not dressed right. Yeah, maybe, maybe I that's don't why they're not liking it. This uh -huh. stuff is not unique enough. Um, uh, this one has less really? clothes, that's why like they're like that. They're better, you could go and give out those clothes that you don't like. Someone give her a prize. Oh my gosh, we've been giving out cakes. I don't know how we did not give you one. Ah, okay. Really? It's okay. It's okay. Out cakes? It's a long story. Well, there were questions. No, no, the I don't know. I didn't hear that. We'll, we'll talk. <laughs> but I got you after this. Okay, so I, I am seeing there's no one particular. Oh, is that Nani? The, the one with the glasses. Why do I forget her name? Well, it's not her. It's not. It's not her. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about. I know about. who you're thinking okay, about. Okay, there we go. Yeah. There's, there's no particular like, I don't know, branding. I so see this is our website already. On. So uh -huh. this is our website. So we then don't, and you can't take a picture from it. So mm -hmm. we don't. Again, sometimes over branding is you don't you don't. I want you to look at the picture than to be busy looking who took it. Mm -hmm. So of course it's already on our website. So you go and find it there. Mm -hmm. So nobody's gonna steal it. People should not steal other people's work. Shout it out loud, sweetie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a very sweet picture. It, was this a maternity shoot? Yeah, it is a maternity shoot. Oh. Yeah. It's so cute. Yeah. Okay. All right. How can we find you on social media? So on everything is Favier Productions. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Favier. Website is Favier Productions. Mm -hmm. Instagram, everything, Favier Productions. Have you ever tried to, you know, low key solicit a, a media personality or someone famous, a celebrity type, to do, you know, just free stuff so they can market you? I hear that's a thing. It's a thing, 
Maybe that's not the direction we, we choose to go because we want our work to talk and for you to come and say, okay, I want to partner with you in this FGM drive and I will offer myself free and you're offering yourself free, so let's collaborate. So maybe I'm not, I'm not chasing them yet. I want to have content that they will think this is worth coming to. May you be chased. I may, may you I be take chased. It. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so. What are you working on right now? Currently, um, there's an SDG thing going on that we're supposed to be recording to find out as film industry, what mm -hmm. are you trying to have the government try and change. Mm -hmm. So looking for a random SDG that you want to take up on. So that's what we're trying to film anytime this week. Mm -hmm. So putting in all the ideas. I can't wait to have it ready on the 15th January. And hopefully I should put it up on our YouTube page and everything. And we're going to play it because we're awesome. Yes, I like that. <laughs> yes, I like that. Okay, there is this tax that has come up. And uh -huh. I'm just bringing this up because it's fresh. It's uh -huh. news. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this Mamamboga tax or they, they call it the patriotism tax or something like that. So for every 100 shillings someone makes, three shillings goes into tax yeah and apparently there's another percentage is it 15 or one i don't know some something with a five mm -hmm. but it translates to if your business license is let's say ten thousand shillings to renew annually then come this year when mm -hmm. you're renewing it you have an additional 1500 1500 on top for the tax man mm -hmm. do you think these things are a bit too much for businesses that small Okay, so let's start with, we are always thinking Mamboka is not making enough money. Mm -hmm. And we will be surprised to find that she has an amazing house that she's built from the 100 bob. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Chapo and, and Gedari for those who actually love we're, we're, good content. Mm -hmm. so, so they are actually making the money, but of course we shouldn't be trying to figure out, okay, everybody who's making every coin, let's get it out. But they actually make money. So I'll leave it as everybody's making money and give Caesar what is Caesar's. So mm -hmm. of course sometimes... Caesar might ask for too much, but mm -hmm. give Caesar is Caesar's. You're very wise. Do these, in the beginning when you were starting mm -hmm. out, did these same applications affect you in any way? Did you go in green, like, I just want to start a business, let me just do this because I'm passionate, or did you actually do the time? Did you take so the I already research? started the business, and again, good thing right now, once you register, you don't have to charge taxes then, because that means you're just remitting the income tax. Mm -hmm. So people should actually know if you've just started this, that first three years, as you're not making five million or this amount of money, you don't need to be remitting a particular amount of money. It should just be at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So just then trying to know how are you not going to be get into tax but again by getting tax they you can deal with the big companies mm -hmm. so just doing the balance to know i am only ready at this point and when i'll be ready to take up that money which is a lot mm -hmm. i'll be ready to give out because that tax is not mine i charged you twenty thousand with a two to five tax mm -hmm. so i may stealing it and already have my 20k on the side mm -hmm. so mm, mathematic i hope you're paying attention guys <laughs> i hope because it's attention. easier when you know that okay i charged and i didn't pick out mine mm -hmm. so whatever was tax can just go mm -hmm. Your life will be, you'll sleep better knowing that Kerry is not fishing me out and my bank Amen. account and inconsistency and mattress money. mattress money. I hope I'll try to mattress money. Okay. Uh, um, this is this is a unique question because I yeah. have experienced it in music. I've had, a, mm -hmm. I've witnessed a producer getting into trouble with the law mm -hmm. because of copyright infringement. Yeah. Have you ever gone to a location, maybe an event you were shooting, and maybe you shot something that they didn't want to, you know, be played to the viewers mm -hmm. or was a bit sensitive, even if the cause was good and the mm -hmm. intentions were pure. Have you ever come across such a situation? So I haven't. Another I could say is when we are taking pictures, we know that the rights for these pictures are either shared client and myself or I know that I've taken them and you are using them on your social media so you can allow me to use them on mine. Um, so again, it's shared rights. But having conversations where you know if the client said this is, I'm giving you a million shillings and these pictures are meant you don't use them, then you should not use them. Mm -hmm. But then again, what I could tell is challenges we get is now finding my work or so someone's work mm -hmm. being used by another organization. Mm -hmm. So it's actually like we're on the receiving end. People go to stock images oh, and you find pictures locally wow. done, then you take them not knowing that that photographer is local. You know, we, we used to downloading pictures on yeah. YouTube every time. So you find the, a black picture, you're like, oh yeah, I have a couple loving each other, we can use it for insurance. 
and then no you forget mark. that those are yeah yeah and if you don't watermark which is fine but mm -hmm. the link shows it's from this company mm -hmm. so you should go and find Favi and ask them mm -hmm. I want to buy a stock picture how much will it be so we're kind of usually on the receiving end where Aww. we have to say you've used my picture mm -hmm. let's have a conversation you have to pay me or mm -hmm take it down and you've already used it so you have to pay me haha <laughs> oh i like so, you okay so today is so, but, and again let me just oh, add sorry. it's about sensitizing people that mm. those pictures we work hard to get them so can you then actually just go because we're always downloading pinterest pictures right now actually but now we're kind of starting to put pinterest pictures up pictures on pinterest oh you want to oh. take a nice your shoes and ring and something you put it there mm -hmm. so sensitizing people to be aware of the photographer and they worked a lot to get those pictures done and just find out who is it is it someone random who doesn't mind giving you or is it a local i think when it's local artists they know that they worked hard and they want to be paid so sensitizing that pictures <laughs> were taken by somebody they didn't happen it's important yeah it's important too okay sorry I, you're saying no no don't be yeah. sorry because i didn't realize it was an actual thing i didn't yeah. know it was important yeah. do these people pay you i have never had a, such a situation mm. but i know it should go to copyright legal conversations mm -hmm. after so that's something scary going into the legal aspect. I mean, it's all fun and games when you're taking pictures and having mm. fun and making money. But when it actually comes to the, but again, you've not really come across such situations. Yes, personally, mm -hmm. I have friends who've had it, but I haven't had personally had someone go and take my picture and use it on a billboard. But you see, now those grand things, nobody can billboard, take your picture that's and use it on a billboard. Brazen. Exactly. So yeah. exactly, nobody can do that. They will pay and go and look for someone to do it. Uh, so, of course, unless it's really mag big, that's when people can be extra about su lawsuits. But on normal, you took a picture and used it. Mm -hmm. Just lay. Use it. <laughs> it's not that serious. Slay. It's okay. Never that serious. What's the right frame of mind to be in when you want to start a business? Because this is Entrepreneur Tuesday. Yeah. And we want to encourage right people. Oh, go to Takwana Mama Mboga Tax. It's okay. Just start your business. Okay. You never know it's going to get you. Look at Favier. Look right how far frame she of went. Mind. Mm -hmm. Be, be, be always positive is what I would say. Like right now, if you ask me challenges, I, I would not remember too much because I was busy thinking, okay, oops, I didn't get the camera I did this. Okay, so what do I need to do? This need this should, needs to happen. Mm -hmm. So what do I need to do? So probably being having all those, so always have a positive mindset of get the work done, keep your client always happy. Mm -hmm. As hard as it is, just those small things mm -hmm. will I've Keep been them a, happy. an unhappy client before and yeah. I remember giving a exactly. headache to people. Yeah. I want this edited. I would no, please take this back because yeah. no, uh, uh, deadlines. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I think customer service, I feel like um, I, I try to give good customer service. You're a delight. So mm. when I go to a shop and the lady is not even looking at me, she's looking at her phone, I'm just like, <laughs> excuse me. But I honestly give her a piece of I'm like, excuse me, uh -huh. you're going to give me attention because I've come to your shop <laughs> and you're not going to be looking at your phone. So do you want to restart that? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm... Um, I'm terrible about it. <laughs> I will not allow you to give me bad service. It's okay. So then I try to be extra. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't have any unhappy people. So <laughs> but I just try to think if I'm working my ass off to try and get somebody good service. Mm -hmm. Where are you not looking at me when I'm coming to your store and you're selling that here? Hey, I need 50 bob. I'm like, do you have interest? Can you come and show me <laughs> maybe something that, yes, yeah, so. <laughs> well. If you were to go international today, what would be the first country you tap into? We are international already. Um, because again, this humanitarian sometimes calls in all the companies and NGOs who are working to actually try and invest in Africa mm -hmm. are coming and we're working closely with them. <coughs> um, so, so we've worked with a couple of international companies already. Mm -hmm. What you could ask, what I could say is maybe the next country I want to go to or work with mm -hmm. is South Africa, maybe. Why I have South not Africa? done that. Why? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm looking at it as, as I want to go to South Africa as a person. Like Lucy just wants You're to go to South Africa. You're not afraid of xenophobia. <laughs> <laughs> no, mm -hmm. I, I'm not working, not going there. The visitor. Visiting. Mm -hmm. But again, sometimes when it's you have a conference there, you have hedges to come and do, you have a small thing to come and do. Mm -hmm. It's just an in and out. Mm -hmm. So, yes. All right, since my ignorance has, you know, just anikad me just like that. <laughs> what was the first country that you worked with? Okay, the first international body that you worked with? We have done, I don't want to say everybody has done Tanzania Uganda, but organizations and farmers are in Tanzania Uganda. We've worked in Juba as well. And again, it was interesting to find out that mm -hmm. Juba is not as a war zone as we try to think about it. Mm -hmm. 
it, uh, it is a developed place you will find a place to go and eat fries you to go to go dance so just doing some of those countries oh. makes you think that there's no people aren't working in guns in Cuba. <laughs> the same people think we're working with clans in Arabi. so oh. let, let's let's know that some of those countries are a bit safer than you think mm -hmm. and a few more countries were Mozambique and all these were farmer related projects and trying to find out as they maze how do we then find out how women are, can multiply their maize product and reduce canker worms and other things that are eating the maize. So all this is just trying to make the society and how can we amplify. Okay, we learned that in Mozambique people are using this. Can Kenya come and learn to do this? So that was my next question because I yes, hope you're bringing that information yeah, home. Yeah, because now those are films and we try then to put them out there. Can Kenya learn how to do this in their maize when we're busy saying we don't have maize? I'm halfway between where have you been all our lives and thank God we met you 2020 Kianza. Yeah. Hey. Oh my God! Again, where can we find all your work? Just all if you don't work mind. is Favier Productions. Mm -hmm. Yes, Favier is F A. Please finish it for me, because you better be knowing how to finish it. V I E R. I knew that. Just, I know. Because I, Favier. I, I didn't let you. I, I didn't let you <laughs> get it wrong. So <laughs> she's really sweet. Very sweet. I like you. Thank you, Lucy, for coming. Thank you for having mm -hmm. me. Would you like to say something to your fans just before we go? I can only say that I call f our clients have become friends, then they've become family. So thank you for making our 2020 journey, 2019 journey amazing. And we can't wait to bring you more love in 2020. Indeed. Mm, yeah. Because the country needs love. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank compassion. you for Hey, so yeah. much, yeah. so much, yeah. so much. Let's go check her out, Fabia. <laughs> I cannot wait. Okay, I've already been blessed by her presence, but I cannot wait to be part of it. For real, though, like I'm saying, this Great. is not the camera trick. Great. Situation. Yeah, and let's partner more it. with people who are interested in driving a better a country. So, yeah. Okay, this is what happens when you come to work. Magic happens. Yes. But you don't go away <laughs> because at It's Barrymore is coming up with something else just for you.